Is that the hardest part of the Dakar rally for you? It is, mate. It is. There's no Tinder in Dakar. It's uh, <laughs> it's, it's disgraceful. So, no. Um, oh, but, yeah, it's, it's no social media, mate. It's like you cut off from the world. It's like your arms actually get cut off. So, it's... Uh, yeah, I, I get a little bit of time each afternoon just to check out some stuff and whatever and what's going on. But, um, yeah, when basically you, you scroll to your feed and stuff like that and you see, yeah, heaps of people have liked your post and then you check your, they'll see your comment post and everything and it's like four or five hundred comments and stuff there of people just going, keep pushing hard. Yeah, we're following you. We've been staying up early each, each night and checking out your results and first thing yeah with our coffee in the morning at five o'clock we check the results of Dakar and no it's um it's, yeah, it's really really cool to see that and um no, it's yeah like I keep saying everyone I, I I really appreciate that support and and it's definitely something that keeps uh, keeps you motivated and, and pushing along and and trying to keep near the front and um represent so I guess so it's basically keep that Aussie flag flying high so what stage was it that you had that crash um i think it was stage uh stage seven i think so stage six or seven had one little get off there and um basically yeah it was just uh like in some soft sand and soft like dunes and everything and um kind of just dropped off this little bank and it um yeah basically picked me up and put me on on my stomach and went yeah surfing on my stomach a little bit Mate, I would have shit myself if I had a crash like that at Dakar. Oh, mate, I would have shit myself too, and I literally did. So that's the worst. Yes, part. yes, yeah. Um, probably, yeah. Not, not tell too. the people about your bloody oh, shitty mate. crash, mate. It's amazing. It was a shitty crash. It was a shitty crash. Literally, it's um, yeah. Like I say, it picked me up. Basically, uh, sat me on my stomach, and then um, uh, the bike basically chased me down, smacked me in the back, and um, burst my camel back. So I was drenched, and then um, just. I don't know, it just hit me in a really good point somewhere in my back that I hope I never find again, and it just popped a little piece out, and, um, <laughs> yeah, I actually had to sit and... Are we talking, th- like, solid, or mm, are we talking not super solid? Not not, not super solid, so I was like, it was, uh, once I got back on the bike, I, I once it hit me in the back, I was like, Phew, I think I'm winded a little bit, and I'm like, well, I think I may have, may have just shit myself a little bit as well. And I'm like, nah, 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 it's all good, it's all good. So I climbed back on the bike and basically as soon as I sit on the seat, I'm like, yeah, yep, no, nah, I've definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely soiled my jocks. So it's, uh, yep, and I look at the road book and go, yep, got another 190 kilometres of that to go. So, I, uh, yeah, I'm in for a great afternoon. So um, basically finish the stage and uh, pull up next to my team and my crew and they go, yeah, hey, hey, good job, well done, it's good to see you here. And how was your day? I said, um, it was okay, but I shit myself. So it's uh, so the boys just kind of like took one or two little steps back and went, yeah, well. Did they tell um, you literally when you said you shit yourself, or did it take a second for them to be like, oh fuck, he's yeah, actually shit his pants? Yeah, I think yeah, I think they just thought it was a little bit of a joke at the, at the start, and then I'm like, yeah, no, this yeah, didn't, didn't doesn't feel too good at the moment, and then um, yeah, they started to take me a little bit serious, and so like I say, they they took their little one little two little shuffle steps back and. Um, kind of just like leaned in and just gave me a quick pat on the back and said all right yeah we'll see you at the end of the day and get out of here we don't want to uh we don't want to be um smelling that around here at the moment so is that gear still in south america yep that's still in south america in a garbage bin somewhere floating around so uh yep got rid of that stuff pretty quick <laughs> i feel bad but when you told me i was like we gotta talk about that yeah, well, I tried Sorry, to leave. Mate. Sorry, <laughs> mate. Try to want to leave that one to, uh, to my my gypsy tales of my in my memories and and thoughts, but that's out there now. It's out there. It's in the too world. good of a story yeah. not to tell. Like it's not a you, good story to tell. Say I shoot myself. So. Did you go faster because you shit your pants? You reckon? Because you like you got to be just over it. Going, no, Fuck. no, it's it's the most uncomfortable thing to do. So it's like you're trying to shift and move and get off it, and it's like it it, it actually distracts you more than anything, really. So. And I definitely wasn't going to pull up and just pull the old strides off and um, ride in basically nah, with nothing underneath. Time. So that's it's like, yeah, I wasn't going to do the old Ronnie Mac and have the knee braces on the outside and, yeah, hook in and cruise along. So I just, uh, yeah, unfortunately, just got to finish the day. You do hear of people shitting all the time when they're racing and riding and doing, like, sport things. like Yeah, but I'm pretty sure people don't talk about it. No, nah, yeah, they do. Yeah, not, not too often. Sorry, mate. I'm sorry. I'm. Oh, I'm sorry. Straight, I'm, straight I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Actually, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Not sorry. Hashtag.